Okay guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm working on another very special device. I've done videos on it before. This is the Alter G. It's a very special treadmill which enhances treatment by being able to control the body weight that is expected on the, leg, the legs and the knees and whatnot. So anyway, um, what was reported is that this device here, the blower is not turned on. And there's a lot of reasons for that, so let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what we got, and let's see what the real problem is. All right, so here's my Alter G. Let's see. I'm gonna have to give it a moment. All right, and let's see. Let's go into service. Now, I already rebooted it, so I cleared the codes that are over here. Uh, pressure diagnostics. Now, what I've already done is I take a small set of pants that are good. I already inspected them in the light, and uh, I took both the, the leg sleeves, and I sealed them off with a um, zip tie. So it creates basically a, a sealed chamber. And then normally what you would do is come in here, it's okay and turn blower on. And what it's doing right now is it's activating the blower. And that is this guy right here. And you can see we have 200 and some volts at the port. Now this is just a standard blower that you would see in a sauna or a spa. That's all it is. It's about $130, $140 part. So let's go ahead and pull these guys out. And let's turn my meter over to ohms because this being a motor, we should be able to see ohms. You can see I do not. So that means problems in the motor. Take off this one last fastener that's holding it in. We go. Okay, so what we have inside this guy, this is a generic Chinese blower motor. Uh, and I know so because it said so. This one right there. See it? So it's a thousand watt class B generic brushed AC motor 220 volt 240 volt now uh, take a look in there at your commutator bars they look like they are kind of worn interesting so here is where I'm a little confused because there now I can shine some light on it uh, I do see uh, some uneven wear down there. There's obviously a lot of uh, brush debris and I have infinite resistance, open resistance. So that would mean that this guy probably got hot or something and it opened up a thermal fuse, which I would assume it would have one. Maybe right here. So, problem being, this guy needs a new blower and that's easy to change out we have uh, a couple what seven seven millimeter um, hex and on top of that we have to open it up we've got some uh, flat blade fasteners that hold the case open but uh, this would be changed out as a component it's hundred forty dollars here is the complication. You can see that they have a ground in and a redundant ground to the case right there. And I would have to find a way to terminate those pins to these. Possible, but uh, the, the new motor is gonna come unterminated. So that is a special, that redundant ground and whatnot is special for this model and I'm curious what the upcharge is for that little crimp connector and you know the redundant ground. Is that now a thousand dollar motor from uh, the $140 price tag? And it is $140, I just checked. 
um, that exact model blower. It's a generic spa part. Just curious, guys. So, there you go. This could be another interesting right to repair situation because I don't believe that we've had luck uh, getting parts from Alter G before. We're gonna try, once again, now that I have all the part numbers and uh, also have a part number on the cable that goes up to the connector. And uh, I guess we'll see, see how this goes. Um, if I cannot get parts, I've already got the, the piece out, it's really easy to change out. And this right here is not the part that's calibrated. This is just a full on, full off motor. And it doesn't, it's not a variable speed, it just, it hits at 100% and it just runs a lot, which is why it burns out. Now this Alter G here is from late 2020, which means that it is not that old. And that means that these blower motors are a consumable at that point because they're just gonna be blowing through them, <laughs> literally. Um, it is what it is, guys. So, just curious. I don't know if you guys have Alter Gs, but uh, they're not that difficult to repair. Actually, I kind of think that these are kind of easy. And um, I'm just curious also if Alter G offers training for in-house biomeds because that's exactly what I would do for these instead of getting contracts. Yeah. Thanks for watching.